What's going on? Welcome back to the third installment of our Gilded Gilded Ravnica Sealed League uh, Edit Deck Demir. Um, we actually went with Demir. Our Celestia was the guild we chose. And then we went with a, like a Sultai build because our green cards were easily splashable that were good, except for Beast Whisperer. But we do get to add another pack, so we're going to do that. See what we get. Quasi Duplicate. I don't know if that's great. City Watch Sphinx, that is great. District Guide, that's also great. <clears throat> Demir Informant is fine. Another Deadly Visit. So we're also playing people in the in Stage 3 that have 8 packs in their sealed pool as well. So, Alright, so now this guy comes in. Crawl Swarm? 4-1 Flyer for 5. Discard a creature. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. I don't know if that's good enough, but maybe it is. We might be able to cut the green, but then... We also got uh, one district guide, which makes me not want to cut the green because we could just play it pretty easily, especially off of the... I mean, there's no reason to cut Affectionate Indric with the mana we have. Also, we have five Celestia Guild Gates out of eight packs, which is pretty ridiculous. I'm not sure that's where you want to be, but okay. Um, we do want the second Deadly Visit as well. So this is 42 cards. What can we cut? We also had quasi duplicate. I don't I don't like this card very much, even though it has jumpstart just because I mean I guess you can be able to copy this guy, but like you have to have a creature on the board. Also copying Nightville Predator seems pretty good. So maybe actually, maybe I've just changed my mind right now. Demir Informant is just a 1-4 with surveil. Could be fine. Alright, so these are the cards I'm thinking of adding. I don't see a reason to cut this. Undercity Uprising was not super impressive, so we can cut that. Um, this guy could be good. Veiled Shade was actually pretty mediocre. I would rather have uh, the single district guide. It's just the 2-2 two -two that draws you a card. What's up, Hodge Galashi and Unseen Spectre? Hmm. Hmm. I could probably cut this guy. This guy wasn't super impressive every time we had him. So this is 42. Probably cut Leapfrog. We're not, we don't have a ton of instants and sorceries. And I could see cutting one Spinal Centipede. Yeah, being able to copy like Night Vale Predator or Affectionate Indric or City Watch Sphinx with the... Uh, Quasi duplicate is pretty good. Everything else seems pretty okay. Maybe cut Demir Locket. Yeah, I think this deck looks pretty good now. I'm okay with it. Um, I'd like the Crawl Swarm, but we already have. I guess we don't have that much evasion, right? We have Watcher and this guy, and this guy. Yeah, I think it's actually fine without. It's coming. It goes back to your hand, right? Yeah. Essential sacrifice creature you gain life. People destroy a creature in front of controls. That's not terrible. Toughness or power? Toughness makes our one threes a little bit better. Sack spinal centipedes. Put a counter on something. Makes the mirror form it a little better. Makes the one three drakes decent. Just to throw it, just trade with something, and they've already drawn a card, so you break even. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll play it like this and try without. I keep messing with the colors control like trying to get magistrate spef in the deck. It's just not the same. What does Magistrate Scepter do? I'm looking it up right now. I will play first. I will keep this hand. We have like four sources of green. Put a charge counter on it, remove three, take an extra turn. That seems like it's, it's there has to be better options than that, right?
Okay. Old spinal centipede. That is fine. Shimano tap lands over here. Someone actually mentioned that the volume was a bit low, so I'm actually going to raise it a bit. So let me know if this is too loud or a better volume. Hopefully it's a better volume. Um, how about now? Actually, let me know if now is good too. I'm just going to keep raising it until it's actually... It was really low. Apparently it was pretty low before, and I can understand why. I did lower it a significant amount, so... You gonna kill this guy? You gonna flash in your bro? Sure. We can trade. So as long as the volume's not too loud now. Ideally, we draw the Night Veil vale Spectre. I don't think that's what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about, so. Capture sphere. Oh, that's real sad. That makes me do want to, That makes me want to bring in the uh, sacrifice a creature, destroy a guy, because then you just get to sack the guy they put the capture sphere on. And it's basically just free life and you know all that jazz. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that survived. That's pretty good. So that should just win the game for us, I imagine. <laughs> Seven turn clock. Oh, all right. Something's happening here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, yep, that's pretty cool. Keeping the island in case we draw a jumpstart card, I want to have something in hand and if we draw a green, it already gets a second green with District Guide if we really need it. They have five cards, we have three cards. I assume their hand is better, even though we have Night Veil vale Predator. Sure. Yep, that is a thing. Graveyard. It's actually pretty good because we can uh, choose to copy the Nightfield Predator after it dies. <clears throat> good draw four. Oh boy yep I'm gonna go to the next game not really feeling like this <clears throat> uh, it's it was only distracting because I think big monkey actually left apparently I couldn't uh, couldn't critique their deck and they they did not stick around looks like 
Uh, take the Dister Guide out. I mean, it fixed the mana, but the problem is it's fixing our our weakest color already. So it's like if you already have green, you. then you don't actually need another green. Snap Guide, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Also, this is the last day of September, so if you guys have been gifted a sub, uh, it's only one dollar to renew it through September. So we actually took a green card out, so might as well not add a green card. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, this hand seems great. I will keep it. Steam vents, eh? All right, <clears throat> island off the top. That's what we're looking for here. Second double agent. Okay. The legendary Sabi, what's up? Glad you can catch live. Really appreciate it. Chicken Sunday stream bits. Hey, sir, thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, our board seems good now, but I'm uh, pretty sure they're going to just wipe it with the converted mana cost three or less card. I think that's what the card does. No, okay, just that guy. That's fine. Hmm. Thank you. Man, something just happened. Something magical just happened there. Hodge Glossy and Legendary Wasabi, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh so the question is, we can't kill anything. It's tempting to kill our own guy just so we can attack with both of these and neither trade. That seems bad though. We could just force through two damage as well. It might just be better to play Snitch here. If we play Snitch, we get a body on the board, and when we surveil next turn, we actually get one extra. Like we get we already deal the damage. Because the snitch is on board. And we can also deal one more point. So the, the two damage already happens basically because of the snitch. Unless, of course, they don't play any creatures, in which case that's just weird. And that's just weird. Interesting. Of course you have Disdainful Stroke, why wouldn't you? Oh boy. Again, there are six cards to my one card. I mean, if we get to kill their blocker it's good but apparently they just don't play any other creatures it's kind of weird guess we'll just deal four Yep, that is fine. Kill it, attack with everything. Oh, wow. This is really aggressive. Okay, 100% not ghosting, I imagine. Uh, 
Uh, graveyard. Top. Lots of triggers. Always yield, always yield. The scrubland of YouTube. Hey, buddy, scrubland is a solid land. And we get to draw two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to five. Seems good. I guess we probably could have left the land on top, just play a land this turn and play Spinal Centipede, but... Uh, cube is over. Cube ended on Wednesday night. Thank you for streaming on the Holy Day of Football. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Anytime. I wish I had counter spells. Any any counter spell would do. The four mana one, a disdainful stroke, something. I will keep this hand. What's going on, Dusty Sax? Uh, I guess we're just playing Guildgate here. This is nice because we can play this on turn five after this on turn four. If we, We're not going to have any creatures in the graveyard, but still a 3-3 three, three if we really want it. That was a good draw. Actually, that was probably a bad land to play there. Um, Graveyard. Yeah, we don't want either of these, actually. Because if we draw a Duskvale Predator... Uh, Nightvale Predator, whatever the heck that thing is called. We'd want to be able to cast it. I'm pretty sure we're just going to cast this guy. Getting more dudes on the board is probably where we want to be right now. Alright, it's not bad. Uh, I don't see any reason to attack here, for obvious reasons. A bad land? That's probably better. Oh, wait. I thought we were talking about the Scrubland still. Dusty Sacks, welcome back, buddy. Oh, it's Haji Gulashi given. Thank you, Haji Gulashi. You are a boss. Hopefully, you guys will. If you're getting gift subs today of all days, I hope you'll resub because it's only $1 if you resub today due to September. So. Unexplained disappearance. Sure. You can have a card. This card is actually surprisingly scary considering every blue or black card has surveil on it. Mm. Overlord Nate, thank you so much for continuing the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, now we can keep up Chemister's Insight. Considering they're primarily blue-black, I can't imagine they don't have another Surveil card, so they're going to draw another card. But if they don't... Okay. You're welcome, Dad. Thanks, son. Draw two. Seems good. Okay, it's a good amount of lands here. Probably just going to drop a guild gate. I don't feel like this guy's great yet. Could be a 4 4, though. I 
I have not seen Watch of the Multitudes. I don't even know what that card does, to be quite honest. Can't keep this up. It's a sorcery. So do we just maybe we just play this guy? We can keep up chemistry inside or we can play Rhizome Lurcher. I kind of just want to keep up the insight because they have four cards. They didn't do anything. Can probably discard forest. We have two green sources on board already. Here comes the surveil card. Nope, that's fine. It's not great, but it'll do. And discard the forest. Well, quasi duplicate actually seems pretty good here. So does that guy, but I'm pretty sure they have disdainful stroke. They've been playing as if they have disdainful stroke this entire game. See how you smash after your hands fall off. Oh, good times, good times. One, two, three, four. I guess we're just playing Muse Drake and then just seeing what we draw. If you want a disdainful stroke, this. Oh, okay. Considered it, I guess. I don't know. Gonna pass. Our hand is pretty stacked, but they also have five cards. Yeah, that's annoying. Just look at that. Look at that. Still got the disdainful stroke man up. Alright, so we have to throw something away, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit a land, we can play Visit and Duplicate. God, why does it get Death Touch too? That's my question here. Why is this a sorcery? I don't know. Why does the Stainful Stroke counter all my rule spells? I guess we can Severed... So our plan is untap. We can duplicate something. Whatever, I'll just chump block here. I don't even care. I'd just rather you not get a card. What do we draw? Spinal centipede. So three, four, five, and that could be, that's all we'd play this turn. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like they're gonna counter this guy if we play it, so let's play it, I guess. This is the weakest four drop in my hand, so. Perfect, sure. I'm gonna keep one back in case they have surveil. 
Now that guy's off the board, the Indrick and the Watcher and the Deadly Visitor are all significantly better. Indrick with quasi duplicates also pretty good. Is it the seven mana gargoyle again? You just keep drawing this thing? <laughs> no. Draw three, deal three. Seems good. Oh, well, that's off the board. Just two of them? Oh, that's fine. Dream Meme Weaver, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate Hajgulashi, you trickster again. Unbelievable. Hajgulashi, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the uh, the gifts you're giving. Do they have two? Let's find out. No, they do not. Graveyard. Top. Seems good. I feel like we're in good shape here. We have another removal spell in the form of another Indrik. We have a bunch of floaty boys. We have a six mana floater coming down. Well, that guy's pretty big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Now I kind of want a seventh mana, or an eighth mana, I guess. Could play two of these. Not really worry about this guy. Could also play this guy, because we have a bunch of surveillers in hand. Blue, black. Sure. Yeah, I feel like this 5-5 five, five actually put the brakes on us pretty good. It's one of the few things we actually can't kill. <laughs> With quasi-duplicant. Oh, you have something at the end of the turn. Seems good. Draw two. Yep. It's pretty rough. Especially when this is already used. <sighs> Must be nice. I have to assume it is. Guess we have to chump block now because they had double removal spells. Wow, we went from being in a really good position to absolute garbage. Fashionably late to the party. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, four and yeah, definitely put you on top, put you in the bottom. So, yep, three blockers, three attackers. All right, well, shadows, nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. 
bounce a blocker like you do. Sure. It's kind of unfortunate. Both these cards are very good. I mean, we know we're drawing one, two, three, four, five. So those black, those are, yeah, we know we're going to be able to play two Night Veil buddies next turn. Uh, three, four. Well, we have to actually block this guy, which is pretty unfortunate. That's rough. I guess we could have blocked here instead. Oh, add a blue. Use a green. Make a blue. Black, black. gonna pass here we're at one so we'll see if we're dead We have in here that we can cast quasi duplicate. It's pretty decent. Sure, no cards in hand. Kill the spinal centipede, or you just not even use it? I mean, if they choose to use it, we're definitely putting the counter on this guy so that we can block here and here. And then we just need something for this guy next turn. Yeah, any card we draw is fine because we have the quasi-duplicate. Pretty, pretty rough having to discard this. Intriguing. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Is that a creature spell? It's spent on a multicolored creature spell. Yeah, sure. So it's not spent on that. <laughs> we can't even attack because if we attack, they take it. They go to three. And if they have any removal spell for this guy, we're dead. So I feel like we wait, but God, this card is pretty busted. Any removal spell kills this guy. 
and we die. Yep, can't do it. No, it was a drunk. Why? Why are you the way that you are? Turn a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty good. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Oh, and they have Assassin's Trophy in the graveyard. That's pretty cool. Must be nice. Just the Expansion Explosion Assassin's Trophy uh, concoct whatever this other half is deck. That's pretty good. Well, what can you do? They're probably going to kill this. They can't attack still. We have to play every card in our hand all the time because of this cam cam disinformation campaign. Oh, the 9-9. Nine nine. Eh, sounds good. Still dies just like the rest. Doesn't have trample. Disin disinformation campaign. Nope, just a 5-4 flyer. Must be nice. <sighs> Let's see the land, Magic the Gathering. Price of Fame. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess we're killing this guy. Put you on the bottom, put you on the top. And by bottom, I mean, you know, the graveyard. The grave yard A. Still dead to any removal spell here. So we played that on our turn because they have three cards in hand, and if they have any sort of counter spell with the mana up, then we just die. But I'm sure they I mean like we're just dodging one removal spell for the rest of the game, so it's not like we They could not have any more removal in their deck, that's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. Like our next card is also removal, so Yep. The second affectionate Indrik. Must be nice. <laughs> no kidding. Sure, dude. You got it. Alright, take out the district guide. What did we have in instead? Severed Strand seems fine, maybe. Maybe we just want the big flyer that comes back. And as usually, you have to hit the play button, not just sit around. Baby shark, do 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 do. Uh, me te amo, Frank. <laughs> Hola, como esta? Ah, good times. Uh, I don't think they found broken nonsense. Like, it's a six-mana card. I'm pretty sure it just had to do with the fact that it wasn't a dinosaur set. There's no dinosaurs on Ravnica. Yeah, this hand actually seems fine. Any third land gets us to a fourth land, so. Oh, Iron Shell Beetle is fine in, in general, but I'm not going to put a two-mana green card in the deck that's splashing green. 
Like, we're just never going to have it efficiently, and I know it's a terrible top deck, so. Like, when you're splashing a color, you only want to put cards of the highest power level of that color. You're not going to splash for a mediocre 1-1 one, one that puts a counter on something. Yep, and no land. Welcome to Magic the Gathering. All right. Well, I guess it are. I mean, we, we could have mulliganed into a three-land, three-card hand. You know, like you do. One time, Demir Informant. Sure. Hey, we did it. Oh, I'm keeping both of these put on top and put on top. Always yield to that fine gentleman. Demir Informant, do 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 do. <laughs> Don't I transfer them by boat unsafely, mind you, for the highly profitable Dino Park? Yeah, that's actually that's a good point. I had not considered that. You can probably just play Spinal Centipede, right? I guess we can attack first. We know we're not hitting a land next turn, so we can play Muse Drake then. And at least have Spinal Centipede on the board. Don't kill something. Tap a creature. Okay. Good deal, good deal. Baby shark, do 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 do. So now we're just gonna price this guy. We're gonna surveil. Gonna attack for three, four, five, six. So we get a nine. I'm okay with it. And then we get to guarantee a land drop next turn. So. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually gonna keep. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the graveyard. I'll keep this one island though. I do want a fifth land. Because we can cast this off of the Guild Mages Forum if we really, really need to. Mm-hmm. Just an 08? Alright, that's fine. Maybe you cast one, it gets plus X, sure. That's not terribly threatening. Pretty sure I just want the one the one damage in the air and the extra card right now. It's also more expensive, so if we hit something cheap, we can play both Centipede and that. Maybe we'll hit a land next turn. Who knows? <laughs> oh, the old round one against Assassin's Trophy uh, Sphinx's Revelation deck, round two against the Ral Zarek deck. Ral, Ral is advice for a deck. Okay, well, uphill battles, ladies and gentlemen, uphill battles. One, two, three, four, five, six, or we just kill them, I guess. Seems good. Um, don't care about either of these, to be quite honest. I'll put this guy on top and this guy on the bottom. I don't think it matters because they're dead, so. Yep, all right, well. This deck does not have any sort of big bombs like our previous deck did, our Demir, our Demir Sealed deck did, but I think it's still pretty good. I'm not sure how I feel about Muse Drake. It might just be too expensive. 
Eh, this hand seems okay. We have a two drop, three drop, four drop, another four drop that can just lands and a six drop. So I will keep it <clears throat> and just assume I will hit some lands at some point. Yeah, there's a good one. Actually, we can wait till turn three to play Lazav as a two four, which doesn't seem bad. Hopefully, we draw two drop here. Yep, that card is good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have the the luxury of doing that. I'm gonna keep that on top. I think. Yeah, I don't want to get greedy about that. This card is extremely annoying. Nope, not that one. This one. So, I do want to play something next turn. So, I'm going to put you on... Eh, maybe we keep both Muse Drakes. Muse Drakes just cycle through. Yeah, that's fine. We got a 4-drop and then another 4-drop into the Guild Gate. So, that seems fine. Uh, I did not do any real-life pre-releases. So, you are looking at them right now. Yep. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, they didn't play anything. That's fascinating. How about this guy? No. Okay, they just they just allowed it. it seems fine. Muse Drake number two. Is there a point to attacking? No, because then they just attack back and we can block this guy, but we still it's like just one to one. Like dealing one to them, so we take one when they're a lower life total, and it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yep, that guy's fine. Probably gonna price of fame that thing. Shut up and take my money. Two sexy Lazav hype bugs. <laughs> it's your boy. Oh, that's good stuff. Actually, maybe we just wait and we can Indrick it at a certain point. Well, we have a lot of removal right now. Do I even care about this? Like, we, ah, these are one threes, not one fours, so maybe it's obnoxious. We also get the surveil, which doesn't really do much. We have three cards in hand. We have five, and we also have Chemister's Insight and another Muse Drake. Both of all, like all, both of these cards are uh, Surveil too. Why? Why do all the removal spells just have Surveil tacked onto them? Who knows? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this guy now. We have a lot of removal in hand. They have three cards. We have if we have removal for two of the three cards in their hand, it's good. Wow. Um, hmm. Kind of want to land for this guy, but I don't think we care yet. We have ways to get lands, so I'm going to put both on top. Both are good in their own ways. Like, the Lurcher's not good now. I think it's called the Lurcher. That guy's good uh, in general, though. Like, it can be... It's a 3-3 that gets any number of counters. This card's Sonic Assault, sure. Kill the Muse Drake? Like, this guy's a 1-2. You could have still been attacking into my 1-3. Like, it's not a... <laughs> oh, man. I was like, please? Please attack with this guy? Sure, strike. Yep.
What is... Wow. That card's insane. So long, Lazav. I want to hit a land here. Nailed it? Did not nail it. We knew that. Actually, we knew that was going to be that guy. Baby shark. Baby shark. Alright, I don't know why they're tapping. It's a 1-3. This is a 1-2. Do they think this is a 1-1? One, one? Have they played like nine rounds of this guy with a, as a 1-1? One, one? They have one card in hand. I'm pretty okay with that. It's out of blue. I guess I hope your last card is not a counter spell. Watch me bang my head on the desk. Watch me bang my head. Draw two. Yep. Oh, search your library for an instant or inner sorcerer realm. Sure, that's fine. That I accept. Now I'm laughing. I just now saw you guys. I didn't actually see you before. Radical idea. That's not great. Maximize. Okay, so neither of those. I'm not super impressed by either of those. No offense, of course, to my opponent. Our hand is pretty stacked if this is two of the three cards in your hand. Well, gone. Alright, well we're going to block. Sure Strike is plus three, so they probably just have Sure Strike, which is pretty brutal. Do they have two sure strikes in their deck? I guess so. That's something. Yep. Gonna kill that for sure. <laughs> that thing dies. <laughs> okay. Well... You have a disdainful stroke. So to be clear, the cards you drew naturally were disdainful stroke and sure strike. Pretty amazing. Uh, it may have been an awful block, but like they ha they have to have sure strike number two, which is not super common in in sealed decks, I would imagine, or they have uh, nothing, and they're just trying to get damage. And like, I mean, if they have sure strike, then any block or any attack is pretty bad. They just hold a guy back, give a sure strike. Like we're not going to get past the sure strike when they have it. Like, it's cute to just sit here and keep our guy back forever and never block or attack with it because of Sure Strike, but 
I mean, that's not super realistic. Yeah, this guy would actually just, we just die because they have, uh, where is it? Do they not have Sonic? The Sonic, they have it in their deck. That's all I need to know. Maximize Velocity is also here. So I'm just going to deadly visit this guy. And hope you didn't draw another counter spell, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. That is... It's impressive. It's it's not even like I'm not even surprised. I'm just impressed. <laughs> like you had to draw a sure strike at the other the the disdainful stroke and the other counter the other counter spell. Like that's three cards in a row that you had to draw. Sure. Like, I mean, drawing any one of those is fine. Like, you didn't even get either of... You didn't even get that... But you didn't even get those with the... With the, the search spell, right? Like, you got plus one, plus one in haste. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't even understand what's going on in this game anymore. I'm very confused. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, why didn't you tutor for any of those? Like, both counter spells are better. You had zero cards when you tutored. You had zero cards. You put two cards in your hand. Those are what you tutor for. So, like, why wouldn't you tutor for those? Instead, you get the plus one, plus one, and haste. That's weird. Yeah, I never didn't have it all three times. Well, now we have six six car six uh, lands here. Removal spell for this guy? No. <sighs> this format's really weird right now. Like, I mean, I can't crash into this guy because it's a 1-5. These are 1-4s and 1-3s, so I can't crash into the... Like, this guy is... I don't even... I don't even know what to make of this entire thing anymore. Like, I don't even know what's going on. This card is actually seems insane. Like with their deck, I, they're probably just gonna crush me with this. Well, 
Why aren't you playing on Arena? Because I like Magic Online better. Yep. God, none of these things do anything. This is so ridiculous. What are the odds they have a sure strike here of the two? 2 what would you do if I took your life <laughs> oh my god I'd probably run you through that would be my response if you took my life I'd probably take yours too that's that's really how it goes You know, because I'm a trooper, you know, that's what you got to do when you're when you're a trooper. Look at these beautiful bluebirds. Arena is the future of standard MT. I mean, sure, maybe, but doesn't mean it's very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll take nine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What are the odds you have multiple counter spells in your hand? A thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
I don't know how we win this game, just to be clear. They're going to disdainful stroke of this, and then we're just going to be dead, so. And then we can go to game three, knowing that we are 0 2. Yep. Like, don't even bother. Just don't even waste your time. All right. Round three. <laughs> this has been a fulfilling league, let me tell you. Open the Celestia pack and get a pretty miserable Celestia pool. Um, have to piece together a Demir deck. Go 3 0 in the second, in second stage, and then 0 2 in the third stage. So. Good stuff. I feel like Demir is... Uh, the, the blue cards are pretty overpowered in this format. I will play first. Yeah, this is fine. Any black man and we're good to go. Yeah, Boros and Demir seem like the two most powerful guilds. Like, Boros seems powerful because it probably can go under all the Demir stuff. Uh, Demir seems powerful because it has the most card selection and removal, I think, as well. Yep. Hmm. Oh, Christ. <sighs> well, spy bugs would be great, but I would prefer a swamp over a, a creature that I can't cast. Like if someone said, would you rather draw a land that lets you cast every single card in your hand or a card that you can't cast? I'd probably go with the land. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, there we go. Look at that. How nice. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, God. I guess I'll just kill this because... Yep, trigger twice. Draw two cards. This isn't terrible, surprisingly. Actually, I could have made this a 3-4, I think. That might have been better, but I really wanted to get through the deck. If we hit a green, we're actually in fine shape, I think. <clears throat> and they actually drew two extra cards from this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to block here. Oh, yeah, they get to draw an extra card. Oh, God. Even if we kill this, they have a 4, 4, and a 3. If we chump block here, we go to 5. We have nothing on board. They have a 4. Yeah, this is just stupid. <sighs> After yesterday's 3-0 with our Golgari deck, or our Demir deck, I actually felt like we'd be in good shape here, but apparently not. Like, everyone's playing with 8, eight, 
eight pack decks and we're basically playing with like a five card five pack deck because we just can't use any of the celestia cards there because they're just actually terrible we have four healers hawks five celestia guild gates three portcullis vines like three packs favors like none of these cards are even good for us two five mana three threes that tap things down but they don't even like stay tapped it just taps it for the turn so you still can't get past their one fours like eh. Snap guy, didn't you subscribe like an hour ago? That's not what we're casting. <sighs> Actually, going to discard this because we can get it back if we need to. Welcome back. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Oh, uh, I'm not going to do any sealed after this. I'm going to go get some dinner, and then I'm going to play drafts tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, ideally this will be the end of my sealed experience. Yep, that guy's pretty big. Thank you. Island would be nice here, but you know. Scarfed in, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Well. Can't really attack into this guy. Like if they have a creature, it's just a it's a one for one, but like if they don't lose anything on board, which is pretty rough Yeah, that's a pretty solid trade. I'll trade three drop for three drop. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Poor. 
portcullis mine. All right. <laughs> Three, five seems good. Hey, we hit an island. Look at us. Look at us go. Not dead. Four, four flying death touch hex proof. Well, this guy's too good to run into this 2-2. I will just take two if that's what you're in the business for. If you're in the two damage business. And you seem to be. Ow. Sure. <laughs> I'm infusing Price of Fame on my whisper, whispering snitch. I I'm okay with it. This guy's going to be all right. I'm probably just keeping both of these. Put on top, put on top. Yep, still no blocks. Jumpstart, that would be sick actually if there was a card called My Heart. <laughs> uh, just gonna jumpstart my heart on this. I want life for each creature in your area, so what, like three? So one, it was three, I assume. Evil Monkey, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Also, guys, if you have been gifted a sub for the month of September, please feel free to resub for $1. Today is the last day to resub for $1, thanks to September. They could have a keyword called Hotwire, and then you can use it on vehicles. That's where you gain control of your opponent's vehicles. Hold on, I gotta Hotwire this. Yeah, apparently my deck is good if I can get all the flyers out and keep them off of double midnight gentlemen. I almost feel like necrotic vine, necrotic wound is worth it. I think our deck is good. I just don't think it's been. I don't know. Yeah, this hand is keepable. Two drop, three drop, three drop, four drop, with lots of card drawing and lands and all the things that I really want. <sighs> one drop eh oh no they changed their mind or they just didn't have it and they accidentally clicked on something probably going to run this guy out first because uh, the upside is better if we hit a surveil card and if they have dead weight it's just better to have out okay well that's interesting oh they missed a land drop though Hmm. Yeah, now we're definitely playing this because we have the Demir Informant in hand, so. Deadweighting this is interesting because the ability is very, very strong. That seems like a desperation play, unless you have like three dead weights in hand and you're just like, I just need to use it on something. Yeah. 
Yep, had a feeling that guy would be coming down. Hmm. Fascinating. Now we're just going to wait until turn 6, because if we can do that, we can go unblockable and attack. If we, we can also just kill this guy next turn. Yep, that's really obnoxious, because now you draw 2 after everyone. Oh, boy. That's super obnoxious. we can just kill one I'm gonna draw three cards total so whatever um hmm I'm gonna keep both of these I don't hate having six lands here god they go to seven cards Trade? Deal. Because if we don't actually draw a natural green source, we have to have seven lands to cast this guy, which is fine. Next time we can play this, try to find another land. Yeah, don't care about that. Sure. Demir, Demir Informant is probably the weakest card in our hand. We're wasting one of the surveils, unfortunately, but... Um... Yeah, this is fine. Crushing Canopy, Killing the Flyer. That's great. And then we get the Crawl Guy. Five, six cards to two cards. We have two more creatures and no more mana sources, so we're pretty much even, but they're going to play a big, a big thing. Yep, that's a big thing. Charmer, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Uh, I guess we just pass. We can double block here. I mean, I have to assume they have some sort of removal here. Uh, Everix, go for it. Actually, I'd rather have the real copy in the graveyard for things like Lazav or...
Oh my god, what even is this? That's amazing. <laughs> That's actually a great trade. I'll trade this guy for these two idiots. This guy already drew us a card, so we kind of broke even, and this card gets... I can just get this guy back if we want it. Convoking something big here. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things that you're doing. Seven five, e five five. Okay, that's better. I accept that. Would really love to play this card, but uh, you know, lands are difficult. Keep that on top. Uh, don't really feel like attacking here. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. How many creatures do we have in the graveyard? One, two, three, four, five. There's a good amount. This is actually fine. If you want to spend five mana to kill both of these guys, that is reasonable. And you do. That is a sizable commitment. All right. Now we are talking. And we have quasi duplicate in the graveyard, which is nice. Kill this versatile gentleman. Yes. All right, I think we just recovered, but probably not because they're playing something right now. Okay. Oh, God. I should have put the counter on this guy. Yeah, it's still a trade. Whatever. No cards in hand is nice. Okay. Get rid of this guy. Oh, that's pretty good. Draw two. All right. I guess you could hit a creature here. You did not. Or you might have and just didn't want to discard it. I'm 
So let's put you down to eight, and then we have double unblockable guys next turn. This pass wall adept has been uh, <laughs> the double dead weight. Yep. Yep. That's what you got to do, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have no reason to. Uh, we'll be discarding that next turn, I guess. Yep. We don't have seven lands, so or eight mana, so we can't actually discard and play this in the same turn. So I'm just gonna wait because this is literally lethal by itself. So we're going to play this because if they play any ground guy, they're not dead on board. Whereas now they are. So I guess. Let's see what happens. And we got one match. All right. Not bad. Not bad. 120 play points total. Not too bad, actually. I didn't expect 120 play points. I didn't know you got most of your play points in the final round. Either way, thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, sorry about the salt in the first two rounds. I feel like we were kind of disadvantaged throughout this particular league because we picked Selesnia. So you got a heavy concentration of Selesnia cards, but they weren't very good. So we literally pieced together a Demir deck in the, in the second stage with most of the Demir cards we had. And uh, obviously everyone else is like, I'll choose Izzet and then I'll get a ton of Izzet cards and I'll just keep adding to it. So, um, yeah. Nah, I don't know. Either way, tomorrow we'll be back with drafts or uh, whenever you guys are watching this. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Leave a comment. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys.